very big welcome to you to Vicarage Road. Delighted to have your company, and I'm delighted to have the company of Alan Smith. Watford in our game today, and they play Bournemouth. Here's Watford, and this is how they're going to line up. Costel Pantelimon plays in goal. Roberto Pereira plays with Jordan Henderson in midfield. And they just go with the one striker up front. Bournemouth are going to go with this team today. Jack Wilshire starts. He's fit again. And a partnership with these two strikers up front. If you don't know Watford, we're just sort of outside northwest London. It's not that far away from Wembley. And Watford Football Club have had some times in the, the lower reaches of English football, but now they're back at the top table again. Yeah, and I'm delighted about that. It's only 15 minutes from my house, so all power to Watford. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. They cope with it well defensively. Niang. Alan mcanally has got something to tell us about a goal at the KC Stadium. It's a goal for Chelsea. 11 minutes played. Well, they've got to be careful with these early challenges. The referee's penalised that one. He's picked up an early yellow card here. The referee not ducking the issue. But this player's now walking a tightrope for the rest of the game. Well, he's just going to have to watch himself. And the style of footballer that he is, he doesn't normally pull out a tackle. So he's going to have to be careful. Decent defending from the defensive wall on the jump. And it's going to be his throw here. It was a goal for Chelsea. We were hearing from Alan McAnally earlier. The score is now 1-0. On to the attack now. It's Smith. Max Gradle. No need to stop the play there because they've got the ball and they can use the advantage. On the cross, blocked well by the defender. Corner given. Having played the advantage, he's now going back to deal with the infringement that he could have blown for. And the offender's going to get a yellow card. Yeah, I wonder whether... We... Well, the corner put where the goalkeeper wanted it, really. That's not the best idea. Jack Wilshire, Supporting player alongside. Niang. Crisp defending there. Jack Wilshire. There's good progress with this attack. Now the possibility for a cross. He's got his shot off now. Nowhere near the goal, actually. Niang. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. And he's presented the ball to the opposition. Throw in now. Interesting to see what footwear the teams are going to actually use today now that this uh, rain is coming down. Might have to change what they originally started with. Yeah, and I think sometimes with the lads wearing blades these days, you do see them slipping a bit more. And uh, it might mean they have to change halfway through this match. Jordan Henderson. It goes out wide again. I could have got through there, but the defender was absolutely on top of his game. They'll need to try and get the ball back now. Jack Wilshire. Let's get across to Goodison Park and Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Everton. 32 minutes played. 1-0. Thanks, Alan. That's a good spot by the defender. Zarate. Tries the through pass. Shots on here. Credit for taking on the shot. Well, what a good chance that was for him. By his standards, that's a glaring miss. Sermon. Sermon. Just lent the ball to his mate and got it back again. 
and he's met it with his head. He got away from his marker to make the header, but he's missed the target. He's normally a better header of the ball than that. Slightly mistimed. A penalty being given at the KC Stadium. Alan McAnally. It's a penalty for Hull City. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. He steps up to take it. Lovely curling shot away from the goalkeeper. 40 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. And the added time will amount to three minutes at least. Junior Stanislas. And there is the... It is going to be a change here. And it looks like a strategic one. He's coming forward with some danger. And in goes the cross. And it's the goalkeeper's ball, quite clearly a wasted cross. They've got the ball back. The interceptor got it for them. Put them in front. Keeper's done very well here. Well, that's gone behind. It'll be a corner. Goalkeeper will get this one, no problem. Pereira. Francis. Let's go to Alan McAnally. He's got a penalty to tell us about at the KC Stadium. It's a penalty for Hull City. He's put the ball down on the spot. Does he pick a spot or does he go for power? Oh, he's gone for power, but it's straight down the middle and the goalkeeper can't stop it. 55 minutes played. 2-1. Thank you very much, Alan. Charlie Daniels. Challenges for the ball. Well, they're going to start from the back because it's a back pass to the keeper. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. Coming up for you on EA Sports, don't forget, don't miss this, the coverage of the Premier League fixture, it's Watford, they'll be facing Middlesbrough. Yeah, it's got a good feel about it, that one, look forward to joining you in the gantry for it. And the away team want to make a change. He's better usually at crossing than that, it was a defender who got there first quite easily actually. Dan Gosling. Good challenge. Here's a chance to attack. That will be a... Free kick. Substitution for Bournemouth coming off the pitch. Number 42, Jack Wilson, to be replaced by number eight. Niang. Referee is pointed for a free kick here. Well, they're in a good position here. The cross is blocked there by the defender that attack was looking good now the opposition have a chance a couple of teammates who are clearly on the same wavelength got the tackle in
Cross coming in now. Keeper comes and claims it, and no great risk. Time ticking on. Just over 15 minutes to go. What about Bournemouth's next game? Yeah, they're playing Hull City, aren't they, in the next match? Don't see them having too many problems. More defending. Alan, do you think that's what they're going to do for the rest of the game? Yeah, looks like the manager has made a little tweak at the back. And uh, you can see what he's after. Really defensive outlook now from his side. Max Gradle. There's some potential in this move. Doing well to keep the ball. That's a great interception. Well, here comes the support. There's the ball in. And it's the goalkeeper's ball, quite clearly. A wasted cross. Cook. Well, he saw the guy could switch the play to and came up with the pass as well. Excellent. Tackle here. Good interception. We are going to see a substitution now. Pereira. They've cut the pass out there. The Maybe that will ease the pressure. Minimum of two minutes. And the players face another two minutes added on by the referee. Crisp defending there. Well, there it is, final... Everton 2, Crystal Palace 0. Hull City 2, Chelsea 2. Sunderland 1, West Bromwich Albion 0. Tottenham Hotspur 1, Manchester City 3. Watford 0, Bournemouth 0. Let's have a look at what those results mean for tonight's league tables. At the top of the table, we have new leaders in Everton with 14 points. In second, climbing the table are Sunderland with 13 points. In third, the former leaders, Crystal Palace with 12 points. In fourth and falling are Chelsea with 11 points. In fifth, rising up the table are Manchester City with 10 points. In sixth, moving down are Liverpool with 10 points. In seventh and falling are Burnley with 10 points. In eighth, moving down, are Manchester United with nine points. Bottom of the table, Bournemouth with two points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Arsenal with three points.